Dyson Pizza contains descriptions of peril, natural disasters, and kaiju. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Hello, Wayward listeners. Welcome back to Dyson Pizza, an actual play show that follows a ragtag band of heroes who are chasing after Tankai, an ancient dragon bent on burning down the world of Mirios. My name is Derek, he, him pronouns, and I am the guide for our lovable band of heroes. Hiya, I'm Maya Worrell, they, them pronouns, please. And I play Zaba, he, him, the party's naturalist, masked guardian of Kokuru, band in Chosen, self-proclaimed releaser of Tankai, hater of Scallop, uh, doing fine presently. Good tidings, barnacle babies. My name is Justin. <laughs> he, him pronouns. I'll be playing Driftwood. They, them pronouns. Driftwood is the party doctor, hater of clouds, lover of food, uh, and is currently reeling from a very uh, knowledgeable visit to the library and is ready to get into action, become a better doctor, become a better friend. Uh, well, hello, hello. My name is Kyla. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. Um, and I play Arneas, or Ernie for short, a skilled spy having some difficulties in their career path of choice. They, them pronouns, alleged cell sword of scallop, never seen without their red lens goggles, um, even though we haven't seen those for a couple episodes now. Yeah, here for the ride. Yeah. As usual, everyone, we are playing the game Quest. It's a rules light system that focuses on storytelling and world building by the Adventure Guild. Everything we roll will be with a D20. It's a great game. You all should play it. We're having a good time with it. So, last time on Dyson Pizza, the party went to the underwater library with their newfound cloud friend, Sora. They learned a lot about Tang Kai. They learned a lot about Noro culture. They learned a lot about ancient history and learned that there have been accounts of Tang Kai in the last decade. Our session ended with the party showing up on Tasia's island, where now we pick back up. The smell of a campfire permeates your senses as you're all sitting around the campfire at night, all with your bowls of curry, just slowly munching. And I assume you all have been kind of chit-chatting um, as the nights progress. Tasia is sitting there with you as well. She is quite a tall figure. She's taller than than uh, all of you. Oh dang! I was gonna yeah. say we're all short, but I guess not. I cannot. I'm remember five seven. Height for the life of me. <laughs> You're five seven. Yeah. I'm short. You have tall hair, though, right? That's yeah. Exactly. I, my my height does include my hair. Oh. Wait, it does. I thought <laughs> I it did. I, I didn't know that. It's even shorter. <laughs> Hmm. Well, when you're a I horse, know, you're pretty not. tall. Um, I think I think we said I'm taller if you include my hair. Okay. okay. Yes. So yeah, Tasia has like a little like tent that she's erected, and there's like a spear with some like fish on it, like nearby, and yeah, the fire's crackling under this 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 nice uh, humid night. Um, the stars are out. There are so many stars tonight. Um, what do the three of you do? I'm assuming we've already introduced ourselves. Yes. Okay, so we've gone through the whole. Um, I'm uh, Zaba, guardian of Kokuru Village. Uh, mm -hmm. Spiel. Yeah. We, yeah. We say well, the same thing to, <laughs> that we did for the intro. <laughs> 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 Have you all. I'm, I'm not listing off all, all those titles. <laughs> Have you all uh, caught Tasia up? on what happened with Tank Kai and your journeys. Is that something that the three of you would have done? Yes. I Well, I think Driftwood would have um, tried to like ask a little bit more of like more of the general village things. Like, well, what the heck? What are you doing out here? Why, why didn't you stay? We need you. I needed you. I needed you. Tasia kind of informs like her side of the story. She tells you all this tale of basically... She was starting to sense a disturbance in the nature surrounding the islands that there something was wrong. And so it was her initial idea was, in fact, to have everyone evacuate the village because there's a nearby volcano that has it's not it's been dormant for a long time. She thought maybe that there was be something wrong with that. But upon further inspection, she found that the volcano is fine so 
what she was feeling must have been something relating to what's been going on in the larger scheme of the world with the dragon in the sky. And I think she goes to explain that after this one fishing trip, Scallop came back and was different. And he was acting a bit more out of character, out of place, more volatile. And that was when it was aptly time that he tried to oust her because she decided that she was going to investigate what potentially Scallop could have found. And, and so basically, Tasia has been on this island, sort of away from the village, trying to figure out what Scallop could have encountered that could have changed him. And do I yeah. do I have the crystal on me? Yeah, yeah, you do. I mean, I would I would kind of I don't know. This, this isn't really a convenient way to pull <laughs> your foot in Zava aside and like, should I show this crystal or not? Just to be clear, Scalp's always been an asshole, right? Yeah, but he's, he's but worse. This is like a a change. A being different like, kind of asshole. Being like more aggressive. Being like more um, like actually like. Seeking power, sort of. Scallop was like shifts. teasing before, but now they're like alpha levels of. Yeah, uh. I mean that reminds me of Jack, to be honest. And I know Jack seemed particularly fixated on um, a certain energy source um, that we found in the lake of Adesis. I mean, it might just be a wild hypothesis, but. So you wanted to show us something? Yeah, I'll just take out the crystal. Um, we found this at the, well, found, I guess, as in we took this from the library. We borrowed it. It's a library. Yeah, we checked it out. Tasia nods approvingly of checking out the library. She mentions, she, 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 she says, well, I didn't know that that was in the library. It's been so long since the last interns were in the library. So it's probably better in the hands of you all than just sitting around for anyone to come grab. It's a lot of trust you're putting in us, Tasia. <laughs> we'll return it. Yeah, we'll return it. I took um one of you know the the little you um, took a, a slip a slip like that you you put you put on the and inside the, yeah of with the like book. with the return date or whatever. Um, I I have it. So I mean we haven't noted it down in the actual logs because I think that would be dangerous. But it didn't it didn't have a call number, so we weren't really sure. <laughs> We've eliminated late fees, so there's not really you know it's fine. Keep it for a while. I don't think there's anyone <laughs> keeping track anyway. <laughs> yeah, I asked, I asked Tasia about like the last person who was supposed to be. Yeah, there was no one at the desk, Tasia. Yeah, I'm afraid that that's a tale for another time to tell you the story of what happened to the last interns. Something that uh, perhaps when there's less pressing matters we can discuss, but we probably need to find someone to manage the library. One thing on a many list of important things that need to be taken care of. Tasia inspects the the shard of the crystal and she confirms that yes, this is a piece of the heart of Mirios and that this particular shard, you know, it, it hums with power. It hums with energy, magical energy. And she says Probably something like this could have influenced Scallop in some way. It would have had to have been quite a large source, though. This, mm. you know, this little shard is, you know, a little. It's, it's not. It's nothing to be worried about. But you know, <laughs> something to, you know, like a, a larger source though could potentially have unforeseen effects on someone. Staring into the heart of Mirios is how one becomes a god. And what? <laughs> Wait, back up. <laughs> Tasia um, recounts that when the gods ascend Mount Ida, they stare into the heart of Mirios, the comet that crash landed. And that's usually, that's what's, the legend has it, that's what makes them a god, is that it reflects, the magic of it, the crystal reflects back at them and turns them into the epitome of themselves, which would then make them a god. Mm, okay. So this is some fragmented epitome of scallop? Something like that, or like Tankai, it twisted scallop in a way. Do you um do you think is would this be something that scallop could still have? Do you think that this is this crystal or this this larger shard um is something that he may still have on his person or is it something he came across and then left? Could be either. 
but probably the latter. It would probably it would take a big big crystal to put you. Ernie, did you did you mention the the lake thing? To, I did. I did to mention. Tasia? Yeah. Because like that was a pretty big crystal. That was like a. How big of a crystal are we talking? Like how big? Big like. Show me. T- t- <laughs> taller than me, maybe. Pretty like, tall. Taller than you. The heart of, yeah, like the heart of Miros is is huge. It's at least that's what I I would think. Taller than Zaba. But, so maybe there's a part of it in the ocean. Maybe that's what's been causing the disturbance. Maybe the the energy. Maybe something has has happened with it. It would be a sizable crystal that you would have to search for. But I have had no luck finding such thing, and nor did I consider this uh, a possibility. So, well, we seem to keep running into strange objects. Where's uh, Sora right now? Sora's chilling next to you. You just all. call Sora an object. Okay. Tasia just <laughs> nods, like, "Yes, you seem to have found uh, an ancient Nimbus huddle." <laughs> I'd say I go to Zava and Ernie. It's like, uh, do we mention about us seeing that giant crystal that released Tankai? Sora is also there. <laughs> I'm, I'm like. Uh, <laughs> Wait, it was a crystal that released Tenkai? It was like a crystal it orb, a, yeah. It was an orb, orb. Mm-hmm. yeah. It went like tink Which, when, we, yeah. when we touched it. Yeah. You're right. Which, in the myth, like the orb was made of a shard of the heart of Mirios to trap Tenkai. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Like polished it. And we just mm-hmm. left it there. We, uh, we no, it wasn't it, there anymore. Right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was. It was destroyed. It, it was, was gone. shattered <laughs> into <laughs> into glitter and dust. I think I got a concussion when it exploded. I forgot a yeah. couple things. Lost uh, didn't get any. some slippers. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, R.I.P. Those slippers. Well, <laughs> it already gets emotional. <laughs> well, should we tell Tasia? I I say as the person who knows Tasia the m- best. Uh, <laughs> I've always been an advocate of being honest. <laughs> Wow. Uh, called Driftwood a liar to their face. <laughs> Driftwood narrows their eyes. What are you I've saying? Never, I've I've always told people what our, our role was in with Tenkai, so it's not it's not nothing we've you've been keeping secret. <laughs> I look at Tasia. I look back in our huddle. Hey Tasia, uh if we if I told you we did something really, 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 really big that affected the whole world, how would you respond? It would explain why you're back and why Ooh. you were going to Adesis and why things fell apart in Adesis and all the things you've caught me up on. Wait, so you told Tasia like everything except the beginning <laughs> part of this journey? I mean, uh, yes. <laughs> <sighs> I expected more from you. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> Tasia, we wow. released Tenkai. <laughs> Tasia's eyes go wide. You did what? There's this big crystal, and then we all stabbed it, and then it broke, and then it exploded, and then okay, dragon came out. Okay, to be fair, he tricked us into releasing him. Okay, that... We didn't know. We didn't know. None of us know. I didn't know. I thought this was just a small little spirit. Yeah, he's like, oh, help me. Help me help get me. out of this orb. Yeah, we thought it'd be like that cloud that's like flying around. Don't touch me. <laughs> Sora just shakes... Just shakes his head. Don't be mean to Sora. <laughs> you can stand. No, you can stand next to us. Sora's just standing close. Here. Okay, all right. I got boundaries. Yeah. Sora just leans on Zaba and Ernie, like a cool kid. Tasia is a bit shocked uh, at this. A bit, just a bit. Just, a, just a bit. Tasia says, "Well, that would explain a lot of things. Why you're back. Why your friend needed healing. All this shift in the weather and the change in the energy. That would explain." Why some things have fallen, sort of started to move towards chaos. It would explain why the ocean is becoming more and more shallow and why the waves are like it's losing its sort of grasp as if Mitra's hold here is fading. That would explain a lot. That is why um, we came here to Noro. Well, among other reasons, we came first and foremost for healing, but Driftwood had, had spoken of the libraries here. Were the libraries helpful? Do you know where you are headed next after here? Or was it not as helpful as you may have thought? Uh, Driftwood can say that they learned about the second guardian, because I feel like that's something that Tasia would know something about. Uh, what do you know about the Boaya in the mm. in the lake uh, over across on the mainland? I do not know much about the Boaya in the lake, but I know something about the Boaya in the ocean, which... 
maybe this will tie into the Bawaya in the lake because there's an old myth about the Bawaya known as we'll call we'll call this Bawaya the Bawaya Major, the mother of all Bawayas. And this Bawaya had one lost child that disappeared in this story in terms of this 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 particular Bawaya was different from the others. And this this mother of Bawaya tried to protect that child at all cost, but during the fall of the old guardians, they were separated, separated by the ocean draining into what we now know as the sea and revealing what we now know as like that part of the mainland, the, the western slopes. I did not think the Buaya was real. I haven't seen a... Driftwood raises their hand. Uh, I saw one. It was real scary. It was in the lake. Oh. It seems... You have been blessed with an experience that I don't know if you would call it few... blessed. Bless. <laughs> <laughs> and then Adesis's people tried to kill us. It was a near death experience. But Saba did get gills. I kind of whispered to you both. I guess now is not the right time to say that there's a, a war brew- brewing between Tosu and Adesis. What were you going to say, Driftwood? Now we're not going to tell the truth. <laughs> I would imagine that's something one should know. I feel like I feel you like would mention that. A lot to drop Everything on. about this is a lie. Yeah, how um, how long did we spend with Tasia already? Because it would have taken like hours. I mean, I think it was. Clean. I think it was evening last episode, so now it's nightfall. Uh huh. So yeah, it's definitely been a few hours in catching them up, and I think Tasia is very receptive to all this. Tasia is like a guardian. Uh, sure. yeah, no. some. No, oh. no, I mean, Wh- whoever holds the raiments of the guardian is a guardian. <laughs> Tasia, any person of authority is a guardian. Apparently, it's not Scala or Jack. Anyone who looks at us yeah. funny and is taller than us is a guardian. <laughs> Tasia smiles at that comment about whoever holds the raiments, and Tasia looks at the three of you and says, "Yes, whoever holds the raiments and faces the trials and proves their their divine that they are divinely chosen." Yes, they are the true guardian. We love a good trial. Yeah, Driftwood kind of yeah. crosses their arms like, mm, true guardian. Here we go again. Mine wasn't very <laughs> Mine wasn't very fun. So, yeah, where do you want to go? So the main island is where most everyone lives, but we rarely venture out unless we're going to look for very specific things. Um, and so we have a couple of days before the festival. I think we're prepared to physically encounter scallop again however i don't i don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that we should take a little bit of a you know maybe do some group bonding (laughs) because all of our adventuring so far has been uh not devoted to uh you growing it's been us like by the skin of our teeth like surviving so maybe if we move in with some more intention, we can be a little bit more prepared. You mean actually planning things? Yeah. Instead of jumping into things? Yeah. That sounds... Yeah. I look at... <laughs> I don't know the run. I can't... It's not in character to look at, at Ernie. <laughs> I already just standing there like, yeah. <laughs> doesn't doesn't process that that comment was targeted at them. Is Ernie like excited right now? Yeah, hearing? Ernie heard trials. Ernie heard training. Ernie's very excited. Ernie heard the tr words. Uh. Trouble. <laughs> Trust is not one of those words. Hmm. Jk, Ernie trusts you. You both. Tasia also explains what the three trials are. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've got little she, crib, yeah. Like, crib notes. Yeah, yeah. She or basically crib says, feet. yeah, she says the first island is this one right here. And at the bottom of the seabed is the pearl that is the pearl of Noro somewhere that you need to find and retrieve. The second island, there's a giant pickle crab, she says with a, with a grin. And you need to face this pickle crab. In whatever manner you see fit. And the third island is the volcano. Of which once you've done these two things, you can enter. You'll need the pearl to enter the volcano. And face yourself. To see if you're worthy. So it sounds like we have a a couple of options. There's the, the guardian trials. 
Um, there's the getting materials at the old ruins or the old the old um settlement for the festival. <clears throat> there's beating up scallop. Well, I think we'll all inevitably be and en- beating up scallop. It's just how how strong will we be and how much support will we have in beating up scallop? <laughs> yeah. I mean Tasia offering to join the ring is a very good is a very tempting offer. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Out of character, I have a big long con idea and I have no idea if it's going to work. Uh that's it. <laughs> Are you going to wow. tell us? That's all you're going to tell us? Could, should I tell you? Should I? Yeah. I is, mean, this, well, is this appropriate? Yeah, um, okay. This is a safe space. Okay, fine. <laughs> Zaba didn't say that. So I did not say that. we have a pretty big party, right? We yes. have Sidon. We have Beery. We even have this Sora. Um, Driftwood <laughs> does not want to be the guardian. <laughs> Driftwood does not want to be the guardian. Uh, I think I know what you Sora, the guardian. So... <laughs> So that this is the thing, you know. Um, who would Driftwood trust the most, and who would also be the most willing to stay and be like the guardian? And I, I don't. I think I don't know. I think it could be like, I think it'd be like Sora or Beery even. Um, not Beery. <laughs> no, not Beery. I was like, because I was gonna ask, what's, what's the age? What's the age of guardian? Zabas is pretty young. I don't know if that's traditional. I no. want to do the trials, but I don't want to be guardian. And I don't think it's right for either of you to be guardian either. I don't want to be. I'm already a guardian. I'm just stacking guardian upon guardian. <laughs> just another mask in front of my mask. So, you, you you kick off one mask and it's just another mask. mask. <laughs> yeah. I, so no. I want to, I think like, I don't know. I don't know if the, the, my, my long shot is even possible, but... Uh, I do want to like go and train and stuff, and I think these can be that kind of training. Um, maybe just rope maybe, Sidon in, just have Sidon come with us. What were you saying? You can negotiate, negotiate with the gods. Hey, yeah, you I know also you also can just do part of this. You don't have to do the whole trial. That's true. Mm-hmm. You could Probably try one out as a test run. It's like, hey, I yeah. know you really want a god chosen, but um, how about no? <laughs> Like, yeah, the other option is you could just like continue to follow Scallop around. Like, <laughs> you could keep doing your research on your opponent. Our research, quote unquote. Yeah. Yeah. Or we you could yeah. also think about yeah, it while notes. we do the other stuff. Yeah, let's... Or, if, or another idea is um, you could, Tasia points, you could sail to where Scallop went on his fishing on the day that he went out and came back more volatile. You could sail oh. there. Instead. I want to do that. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Let's. Zaba has let, gills. I do have gills. Let's sleep on the, and I can give you you gills. Let's sleep on. Let's sleep, ha, huh, on this on these trials. Okay. I forgot it's the middle of the night right now. <laughs> like, it's, and, um, I thought we were like rushing into like going at the. We're all just like no. actually in sleeping bags and trying not to fall asleep while talking about we're, like, this. Like rolling around, like so. What do you think? Like <laughs> <laughs> a little slumber party. Because um, mm-hmm. I'm actually really interested in trying to find the the, the shards. Yeah, or if the, it is the, okay. Because that's yeah, yeah. that's just a wild theory that Ernie threw out. Okay. Yeah. I've already taken it as as true. You're like, this is canon. This is canon. So you all want to sleep. Okay. That's good. Cool. The night is calm on this island. The wind and Mitra's comfort gives you all good sleep for the first time in a long time again. Um, morning comes. Tasia has, is roasting some fish um, first thing in the morning. And uh Yeah. The three of you are awake. Sora, you realize when Sora sleeps, he just kind of floats. Is Sora, is Sora even sleeping or is just... You don't know. You can oh. assume sleeping because Sora is horizontal, not vertical. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I wake up because I start to get smoke from the, the fire in my mm-hmm. eyes. Yeah. I I kick um Ernie. Nah. Well, I'm, uh, you kick you kick me, but I'm already awake. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes are wide open. <laughs> just checking. I wake up at sunrise. <laughs> you just cool. been sitting like lying down. At, 
I got up. I did my training, and then I I sat back down because I was hungry. Mm. Yeah, Sounds I kick good. you. It's fine. I think Driftwood okay. typically wakes up early, but is sleeping in today. So they're the last to wake sense. up. Cool. So, are the three of you going to head out there? Uh, Tasia marks it on your map where the area that, that Scallop had went fishing to. Yeah. Um, I start putting things on Sora, like kind of like packing, closing camp. Tasia says, I'll be here for until the festival of Mitra. So come back as you please. Um, and uh, Tasia just uh, gives you all a, a curt nod um, and says, good luck. May, may Mitra protect you all. Who is navigating? I look at Driftwood. I look back. Oh, me? Uh, I, I would imagine you know these waters better than I. Yeah. Granny doesn't even want to look at the water. <laughs> are you looking up? Yeah. Trying to whistle again. It's like seagulls. Hey, seagulls are a sign of land. It's also a sign of crabs. So I'll navigate. I have the map, though. The three of you set out. <laughs> is Driftwood just trying to navigate without the map because no, I, they don't want to ask Zaba for the map? We're, we're sharing the map. Oh, I have okay, the map okay. laid out. Oh, okay. But I have the map. Oh. Driftwood, roll me a d20. 18. 18. Ooh. That is a success. With ease, you navigate the waters. And you go and you fly farther and farther and farther out. Farther than you've sailed out around the islands, Driftwood. Driftwood and Zaba, you two see a jelly titan beneath the surface of the water. It's huge. It's like 100, 200 feet just kind of flowing around. But more importantly, you see it sort of in combat with a shark and a crocodile. Is that normal? Uh... It's normal. <laughs> Look down. No. <laughs> Do you see these these things every day? No. Uh, no one's usually out this far. So I think part of the reason is because of things like this. Is this any danger to us? Is it obvious to Driftwood that this is like the Gyako and the Boaya? Or is this some something, something else? I think you could safely assume because they're really big. But they do seem pretty distracted. You need to get closer and pretend, and, and swim under the water in order to investigate what's going on. And they're both fighting. They're both fighting yes. the Jelly Titan. This is like a this is this is Godzilla versus is that the yeah. is that the movie that came out King Kong versus, uh, it's King Godzilla Kong. versus King Godzilla. Kong the King Kong, Kong of the water, otherwise known yeah. as the Jelly Titan. Ooh, does my sense magic fire off? Yeah, Ooh. you sense magic similar to that of the lake um, beneath the water nearby. <laughs> Oh, um, there's probably one of those crystals. Oh, yeah. Okay. My S's. Okay. Uh, my my brain is machinizing. So can someone someone tell me what's happening down there? Because I'm not. <laughs> I stand. I, I I stand a little bit above Ernie and do like finger hands. So this is like a and then a... <laughs> and then like. <laughs> So Ernie doesn't really know what these sea creatures are to begin with. <laughs> you know the buaya though. Yes. Or is there a yeah, lizard I do. Buaya? Like a land lizard, but yeah. like in the sea. We ate jellyfish. So the only thing you wouldn't know is... Well, no. Like, I've seen a small jellyfish when it's dead. I haven't seen... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it gets you it, it gets you that you that Ernie's not going to understand unless they look down, which they're not doing right now. Right. Yeah. So I Driftwood says, yeah, jellyfish... Uh, why uh, uh and then shark uh do you know what a shark looks like and then i grabbed uh ernie's earring uh the <laughs> my tooth i was like this the thing like like this but like big like chomp chomp zaba has a, a shark charm oh yeah on his anklet oh. you can just show that and then oh that. i do yeah i was given it one. right yeah or mm -hmm. i found it or wait we, given it. we all have shark related yeah. things right now yeah, shark squad. I'm just collecting charms at this point on my anklet. Yeah. Uh, the Zaba, your aspects, you only have a certain amount of aspects, right? That you know that you can use? Yes. I only have eagle, cat, and wolf. What, how fast are we moving on Sora right now? <sighs> yeah, like probably fairly fast. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Why are we I talking about gills? We're not going into the water, right? <laughs> uh, Zaba... Can you cast scales on me? I need a I need a boost. Okay. I 
You get you get slapped with a little bit of water. <laughs> Gills on my neck. <laughs> I was like, ooh, pretty cool. <laughs> and I touched my gills. Um, and then Driftwood was like, all right, I'll be right back. And Driftwood like oh, leaps into wait, the air. Wait, you're going by yourself? <laughs> into the air. Uh, Zabu, you're not going to stop them? I'll turn into a fish. <laughs> you're so just going to leave me on the, on the cloud. <laughs> Wait, give me kills at least if you're gonna just abandon me. <laughs> oh god, okay, fine. I I'm in midair. Okay, so I I'm spending the AP. I'm I'm making note of the AP that I'm spending for this. So I turn into a fish. I turn back into a human. I I I also give you gills. This is so uneconomical. And then I turn back into a fish. Listen, you turned into a fish before asking me, before thinking about what you were, your actions were doing. You didn't ask me for gills. You so you just thought you just turned into a fish. To... <laughs> has like reached the water at this point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so, so Zaba's in. Ernie, you're the last one on Sora, who is who is Sora. Can you get above. as low to the water as possible? <laughs> Sora nods, and because you you're nice to Sora, Sora gets very low, even gets a little bit wet. Um, so you so you can just step right into the water. It's like okay. a little rain cloud. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you get a sense that Sora will wait directly above here. Okay. Out, out of harm's way for you all to come back. Okay. Well, um, here we go. I guess. Um, Are well, you still sure looking all my up? Stuff is... <laughs> yeah, I still looking up, making sure all my stuff is on the cloud on Sora, um, and then I like hold my nose. Whoop. The three of you descend. Deeper and deeper into the ocean floor. All sorts of fish, eels, sea life, seaweed, coral, you pass through it. And the ocean begins to get darker and darker the farther you go down. But driftwood, the magic begins to permeate stronger and stronger and stronger. Can I put until, my goggles on? Oh, yeah. On? Yeah, you put your goggles on. You can see in the dark. Nice. All three of you, roll me a d20. Okay. Um... Would my cat aspect, it allows me to see things in com- in complete darkness, but does it nice. still apply when I'm underwater? <laughs> You're a catfish now. Yeah. I would say, yeah, you morph yourself into a catfish. No, I you... just have to get the eyes. I, can... I just yeah. get Catfish? The eyes. Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> Wait, you should turn into a catfish. <laughs> yeah. I would say so, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can do that. Okay, but we'll also reason. wait. You're just a regular fish, though. You can just change oh, into a different. Right. Okay, you're right. Yeah, I'm just yeah. A so you fish, you can so. just see, like you can give driftwood cat eyes, um, if you who, want. Who, I can't speak. Oh, so. you can't. Never mind. Um, I got a thirteen. With, okay. Um, these are Monica's dice. <laughs> Thanks, nice. Monica. Thanks, Monica. What'd you get, driftwood? I got sixteen. Okay, oh, okay. you all succeed as you swim without any conflict, but Ernie. You, something catches your eye as you're swimming down. Ernie. You see some glass, like the kind of glass that looks very familiar to the kind of glass you can put in your goggles. Just on the on the bottom of this, of this it's ocean just like, floor? It's, it's just like chilling, yeah, like on the bottom. Like, yeah, as you get closer to the bottom, it's just chilling. <clears throat> I was like, sea glass. Yeah, sea glass. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll pick it up. Cool. You take a, a, a little bit of it and you stick it in your bag. You can now spend adventure points to upgrade your goggles when you have downtime. Yay. Um, (laughs) But the three of you make it down to the ocean floor, fighting against the pressure of the ocean on this part of the sea. Driftwood, it's hard for you to see, but your sense magic is almost like a compass, almost like echolocation. Mm. You can kind of walk towards it or swim towards it. The three of you come across a giant coral reef that has a sort of underhang that you can swim through that the magic kind of leads you to. It's almost like a giant underwater sea cave, but made out of like coral. The fight is like near us, right? We're even closer to the fight that's going on. They're like thrashing in the water, I imagine. Yeah, they're like thrashing in the water, but they have taken no notice of the three of you. I'm a fish. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Okay, I'm going to go follow the magic. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Driftwood enters the underwater Sea cave, coral sea like cave. Point. We have gills, but we can't talk to each other, right? I think you would get bubbles. Yeah. It'd be like... Rah, 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 rah. Okay, I'll um, do that anyway. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. I'll, I'll follow you. Cool. Yeah, I'll just go after as well. 
the three of you swim into this enclosure. And at the heart of it, it opens up and there is a giant, almost like 15 foot crystal glowing with hot energy. You can feel the heat through the water. How does Skeleta get down here? What the heck? And you feel the shard in your pocket, Ernie, vibrating as it begins to like heat up. Um, okay. Yeah. That's not fun. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm taking the- it out of my pocket. I'm yeah, you drop, take it out of your I'm just pocket. It on the ground. <laughs> you let go of it, and the shard flies through the water oh, towards. I have expected that. The glowing crystal and is absorbed into it, and the crystal begins to glow a little bit brighter. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm not returning that crystal. <laughs> mm. We're not supposed to look into this crystal. I don't think. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Um, the three of you are here. So. Okay, so my newest spell is No, um, mm-hmm. which is neutralize the spell that another creature is casting. Um, would it not work on this crystal because it's not a creature? I would say go ahead and try it, and I'll tell you what happens. Okay. I'm gonna spend... And you'll get your AP re- re- refunded if it doesn't work. Okay. Then I'll attempt to cast No. Um, okay. So description for No, to neutralize the spell that another key- creature is casting. It costs two AP, and I'm going to roll... 15. 15. So with your success, um, you utter the word no underwater and begin to cast neutralizing magic towards the crystal. You feel that this crystal is not an actively cast effect, so you get your AP refunded. But you learn that the magic is, however, it's connected other crystals it seems to be connected to the crystals so this crystal you get a sense could be in some way magically connected to the crystal in the lake mm. uh, look at driftwood or look at uh, a <laughs> look at driftwood look at myself comb my hair reflection <laughs> then i i look at isn't this neat um look at uh zava and ernie and i'm like Mm-mm. i guess we swim out of there Unless there's anything else. I mean, you can investigate. There's there's like passages leading out of this cave, in and around this cave. You can investigate those. Can I use track to see if I've if Scallop left anything if he was down here? Yeah. So if I use one AP point, it says you can pick up on the trail of an animal of your choice. In this case, we've used it in the past on people, even or creatures, even though there if there even if there are no tracks nearby, as long as it is um, native to the environment you're currently in. You must choose a type of animal to find, like a boar or a squirrel. <laughs> nice. We'll, we'll, we'll say one scalloping because you've taken extensive notes. You get a sense of what he wears, how he moves. Um, and as you begin to investigate, you do in fact find a remnant of what appears to be like a fishing net. Uh, the same kind of fishing net that he had brought when he greeted you all at the docks when he was about to go fishing again. Uh. So um, you trying see to a, a scrap this, of that. He's trying to fish this up. Yeah, and you get a sense that the if you descend deeper into this sort of like collection of like coral sea caves, you might find more things because the it, it's towards one of the exits. I hold up the net, um, so you both can see it. I make like uh, strong arm gestures, like a scallop, and then I hold up the net, and then I point deeper into the tunnels. I kind of wiggle a little bit. Um, I think if I see you two drowning, I could. (laughs) Yeah. I could, but we need, um, I can't communicate anything, so I'm not going to say anything else, but. Yeah, I guess, oh yeah, I can't communicate anything either. Um, I make make a watch motion. I do the gills. And I wiggle mm. more. And I make like a drowning, (laughs) drowning (laughs) expression. (laughs) And then I say, no, don't do that. <laughs> Zaba is just a fish right now. Right? <laughs> yeah. I do it all the time. So there's fish. like no uh, affirmation. Like it's all the same <laughs> expression. Yeah, no, literally the only thing I can do is wiggle. Just like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I feel like I kind of understand Zaba still just as by virtue of being near water a lot. <laughs> Um, yeah. Ernie does not understand this fish at all. <laughs> so, what were you saying? Uh, so 
Are there other fish like around, like swimming around? <laughs> um, yeah, there are some other fish, and oddly enough, you observe like a handful of fish swim uh, towards the crystal, and then they disappear upon touching the crystal. What? Like there's, yeah, they just, it's like they went inside of the crystal. Oh and it didn't gosh. seem like they willingly went in there. It didn't seem like they were. It just it just seemed like they were swimming around and then they bumped into it and disappeared. I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. I I pick up a rock. I throw it. The rock disappears. <laughs> well, it, it floats through the water. It kind of falls down. You need to get closer and kind of push it in. I, w- I pick up a larger rock. <laughs> what were we saying, Driftwood? I want to go in there. Uh, but I'm Don't scared. Don't do it, Driftwood. Don't do it, Driftwood. <laughs> well, at least we can communicate. Put your pinky in there. I'll go. I'm pointing at the portal crystal. No? Uh, okay, pinky, pinky. <laughs> I stick a pinky into the, the crystal. <laughs> oh, God, if you lose your pinky. No. Um, your pinky your goes fish. in. It still feels attached to your body, but you don't see it. How does how does the fish Zaba react? <laughs> fish Zaba wiggles a little bit more furiously. Uh, wah, 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 wah. I was like, the fish went in. They were they didn't look like they were that scared. But I don't say that. I'm like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I kind of circle around your head. Uh huh. Um, well, Driftwood feels fine. So Driftwood like slowly puts more of their hand in. Does it feel different? Like on the other end, like my hand. You feel air on the other end. Is it water? What the like, fuck? It's not water. It's 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 like you're back on dry land as you reach through. I'm Wait, scared. <laughs> the fish are dead. There's only one way. Drif- <laughs> the fish are dead. Driftwood, yeah, true. Uh, Driftwood is committed at this point. Um, is unsure how to communicate it. So Driftwood like pushes their face slowly into the portal just to see what's going on on the other side. Yeah. So on the other side, you are inside of a cave. And there's a small camp. It looks like someone lives in this cave. <laughs> you feel- and, there's, and there's like a basket of fish where all these fish that have swum through have been collected. There's no one present at the moment. You feel Ernie's leg, uh, holding your What's, legs. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go. What's more concerning, though, Driftwood, is that this cave as you squint and stare out of it, you see that there's a desert outside of this cave. And I don't think you've ever seen a desert. So is the air like dry on the other side? It's very dry air. Those fish are very dead. It's like if you just replaced all the water in the ocean with sand. <laughs> so Driftwood's face is like, it's like, like if you're looking on the other side of the portal, a face just pushes through. <laughs> There's no one there, is there? There's no one there. Okay. As far as you can see, there's no one there. Driftwood, because they're not, their face isn't in water anymore. It's like, oh, Mitra, oh, gods. What, what, what is this? Uh, I come back out. I stick my face back into the water, other side of the portal. Uh, how does Ernie and Zaba look? I guess Zaba's I'm swimming. holding your legs. I'm, I've drifted like right in front of you so you can see my fish eyes staring <laughs> straight oh, into your eyes. <laughs> it's a little bit of space, please. Or blah, 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 blah. go start going around your head again. I I uh, <laughs> how do I even communicate this in the water? I think I I I feel I gesture to Ernie first. I was and I'll give a thumbs up and I okay, I, I'll let I go say of your look. Uh huh. <laughs> and I say uh, I'm trying to gesture their face. I point my, at my face and point towards the portal. I was like, go look. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Well, it didn't seem like you died when you did that. Mm-hmm. So I will. <laughs> so I will peer. I will go peer I in. I'll okay, put my goggles in. I'll just put my goggles in. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You peer through and you I see can't, a cave. I suddenly can't see anything because the, the, the nightlight <laughs> setting is still on. Turn yeah. It off. Well, you can see inside the cave, but outside is like totally overexposed. Oh, yeah. Ugh. I turn yeah, it off, you, though. Yeah, as you turn it off, you see the a desert, which, I mean, you've seen deserts. Tosu is built into like a wind canyon between the mountains and the desert. So you yeah. know what a desert looks like. So this feels, if anything, closer to home than, than you could have 
than you than you have been in a while. Look at the fish on the ground. Are there any that are still alive? The one that recently fell into it is flopping. Oh, grab is slowly... it. Okay. <laughs> you grab out. it and you come back out with the fish that was flopped that went in and you put it back and it swims away. <laughs> so Zaba sees we just grabbed the fish and it swims away. I, I can't. I'm, I have not looked inside because you, if I go. Yeah, what if I grab you? What if I give you that fish and put your, your egg on? Just your eye through the crystal. <laughs> okay, Driftwood. So there's more fish because a bunch of sw- fish like swim swim through, right? Yeah. Okay, Driftwood reaches in and grabs a fish and takes it back in and then looks at Zaba fish and is like, mm, 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 mm. I'm, I'm still being held by Ernie, so I'm like, I'm wiggling. <laughs> I'm trying to tell Zaba to like untransform. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just wiggling. At so that I'm Zaba can go. see. You let me go where? <laughs> I, you're in the ocean. Okay. I was trying to get your eye closer to the crystal, but you did not like that, so I let go of you. Okay, fine. I'll, I'm wasting all my my AP doing this, y'all. I hope you understand how much AP I'm wasting with this. I turn back into a person and I put gills. I get gills. Cool. You do that. I refresh both of y'all's gills oh, with the you. same okay, one. Because uh, um, I have like, yeah. So you have another hour. Okay. So uh, does Zaba go and check the portal out? I guess. I, I poke my head in. You see a camp. Looks like someone had been living here. And you see a desert. Desert that feels vaguely familiar like the one you keep seeing in your, vig- in your visions. I very quickly stick my head back out. I shake my head. Can we all stick our heads in? Yeah, so we can talk at <laughs> so least. So we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> you all three of you stick your heads into the portal and you're all like glancing at each other, but you can now talk. What, is, what does it look like from the other side? It does looks it- like, like if you were to look like from the other side, it would be like, there's a giant crystal and there's three faces sticking out of it. I'm just going to step fully out. Cool. Yeah, you step sure, fully out. You. Ernie, you step fully out as well. Should have brought my sword. Driftwood's lips start to get chapped because it's so dry on the other side. And then like dips back in and then <laughs> dips back out. Yeah, his, and is on the other side. The three of you are now inside of this cave. You hear the wind of the desert howling outside. We're also sopping wet. No thanks to any of you. <laughs> I didn't have to be sopping wet. This place sucks. What is this? Why is it so... So dry. Oh, smell, it smells like tosu. What is this? What, what? It's a desert. Do we think that scallop has been here? Would you like to investigate? Yeah, the does, area? A ba- does a basket look like scallops? I'm down to investigate. Everyone Can that's roll- investigating, okay. roll me a d20. Oh, oh, wait, eight. What I have. Actually, let me check <clears throat> abilities real quick. Can the sense magic go on here? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, as the- you turn around, you see that there's a giant crystal, but also you get a sense that there's some, that there are shards of these crystals in like various places around this cave. Oh. So there is oh, wow. a handful of things that have been collected here. Okay. In fact, there is also a fishing rod that is magical. Ooh. Uh, does my does death sense also go off here? I mean, there's a lot of dead fish. Okay. And as you move closer to the edge of the cave, you get a sense that oh, this must be the great desert, the dragon sands. This must be where the legend of the Okaran Empire. This must be the desert where they fell. Like you get a sense of like the thousands and thousands and thousands of people that have perish during the hundred years of sun okay i want to also investigate the the make of the basket and the fishing rod if i can okay okay i got a seven so my investigation is moot yeah i also got an eight. Oh, i got a four okay um <laughs> driftwood you fail you unequivocally fail investigating the net the basket you're like kind of overwhelmed by the magic you're feeling so you don't notice what's about to happen what ernie as you're investigating the cave, there's a couple of things that alarm you. One, that the fire that is here is smoldering, meaning it's been only recently put out. Two, you, you see a pair of tracks leading out of the cave. And so three, your tough choice is going to be, you can lose four AP to dodge an, an attack that is coming, or you can lose two HP and take that attack that is coming from outside the cave. Me, take an attack? But could you possibly, would taking the attack mean you could alert or just, it's just, I'm assuming I would be kind of stunned a little bit. I mean, no, I'm going to, I'm going to use the four AP. AP. Cool. Um, Go tell them, get back in the water. You dodge out of the way of a harpoon that comes flying. Oh my God. And Zaba, you, your tough choice is 
you can either take the attack and lose two HP, or you can dodge the attack and take four AP. I don't think Zaba has four AP left. I have AP, but I don't want to use it. So that harpoon oh. hits you. <laughs> oh God! Is it is it two HP and the disadvantage? Like I have disadvantage of like getting away, or no? You'll just get hit and you'll take the damage. Okay, That's it. I'll, I'll take the damage. You get struck by a harpoon that you recognize to be scallops. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Clunk. <laughs> can, can I pick up? Can I pick up that harpoon? Yeah. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be har- scallop cell sword. Um, god damn it. <laughs> I mean, maybe scallop gave you that the, the. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up the. I'm gonna pick up the harpoon. I'm gonna leave, but I need to make sure driftwood. Driftwood, are you coming with? Uh, I'm, gonna also, dra- I'm gonna drag you back in the water. <laughs> I'll say. I'll say this right now. The three of you see scallop enter the cave from the other end. And if you want to leave, you're all going to have to make another oh. dice roll to leave. Scallop says, well, well, well. Drifty and the gang. Driftwood goes, well, well, well. Uh, I hate you. Uh, can I grab I, the- I kicked, I kicked the fish back into the- <laughs> Do I have time to grab the, crystal. the fishing rod? And then run for the <laughs> run for the crystal. You can roll me a d20. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm holding the harpoon. 17. I, ooh. Yeah, you're able to grab the fishing rod and jump back into the crystal. I'm going to cast um, Cloud Call. Uh, you throw your hands in the air, producing a thick fog centered on you. The fog rolls out rapidly, spilling around corners and down slopes. And within a few seconds, you blanket everything nearby in fog. Creatures inside the fog cannot see beyond their reach, preventing them from making ranged attacks. The fog disperses after you leave the area or if the area is hit by strong winds. Cool. Yeah, you do that. I'm like waiting. Like I waited until Driftwood got the, the, the fishing, fishing rod. rod. And like, okay. I feel like we're all close to the crystal that we know where, where to yeah. jump into. Yeah. Okay. So I will be the last one to leave because if I let leave before anyone else, the, the fog. fog will Okay, disperse. well I'm gonna I'm gonna take the harpoon and I mean, can I leave at this point because of the cover? Yes, because of the cover, you can just leave without rolling. Okay, I leave. Seriously. Cool. <laughs> and then you run once and I, you jump through. Yeah, once everyone's through, I jump. Go 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 go. And the last thing you see, Zaba, is Scallop's eyes are glowing the um, as what? the fog covers him. Oh and no! You, and you disappear back into the the ocean. Well. The three of you are back out into the ocean. What do the three of you do? Swimming as fast as fucking possible. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. Are you getting away from the crystal? Yeah, swimming out where we came, I think, makes sense. Because we don't know how deep the cave is. Can we roll to see who gets um gets to the top first? Yeah, roll. Uh, everybody roll me d20s. So I feel like it would probably be Driftwood anyways, because they left first. But I got a 14. I got a 20. <laughs> I got yes. a four. Oh no, that's not Zava. I mean, I did also get injured, so. Yeah, that's true. Did the, does the shark notice the blood? Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Also, let's not take away from Justin's nat 20. Yes. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the flavor. Um, okay, so Driftwood, as you swim out of here, you swim up and up and up and up. And as you're kind of swimming ag- along the ground, you actually... You find you see a you see a, a necklace in the sand on the bottom of the ocean that you can grab on your way out. And you are the first one to get back to Sora. Wow, everyone else is getting loot. Yeah. <laughs> All the I got necklace, was this shitty injury. Harpoon injury. The necklace has the symbol of Mitra carved on it. Driftwood when they grab it is like, oh, oh man. But they're still in the water and they're like, <laughs> Ernie, you succeed as well. Um, you are able to get up. Driftwood has already climbed back onto Sora. But Zaba, you are, because you were the last one to go through, it's taking a bit longer for you to swim. Um, and you are bleeding. And I'm going to have you, the consequence you're about to face is uh, not great. Uh, I'm going to be God, eaten by a shark, me. everyone. Actually, sharks don't like human. They taste of, of humans, though. It's more that you're not swimming fast enough because of the wound. And as thus, Scallop, you notice Scallop has exited and is following you. <laughs> this is so scary. This is so scary. And he grins and transforms into a shark and wait, swims wait, wait, up wait. towards you and attacks you. No, wait. Do either of us see this? The two of you don't see it because you've already gotten out of the ocean. But you we're can, waiting for Zaba. To they're waiting for Zaba. Uh, so taking them a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, Zaba, you take another two points of damage as you get bit. 
Okay, can and I? Scalp's trying to drag you under. Can I react to this? Um, yes, you can. Can I? Um, does turning into a shark? <laughs> you freeze a nearby like. There's the, the freezing spell that I have, but it says commoner minion or object. Scallop would be considered a boss. Okay, as a shark. Okay. Oh, Scallop's not yeah. a creature. I mean, he is a creature, but it's it's only common. It doesn't say oh, creature. Okay, okay. I mean, how long does it take for us to realize Zaba hasn't come up yet? I mean, right after this move is probably when you all realize it. Okay. I still have my spear, or do I not? Uh, yeah, because or... you you teleport you you transfer you swam with it down, so you have all your stuff. Okay. Probably also weighing you down, TBH. I'm gonna try to stab stab the shark like on on the nose. I mean, I don't. I as Maya know where you're supposed to attack a shark. Zaba doesn't know, but I imagine that's the the most accessible thing yeah. that I'm looking yeah, at yeah. here. Um, regardless. Roll me a d20. Okay. Monica, I'm still using your dice. So. <laughs> Monica, please. I for- uh, it's a 12. That's a success. So yeah, you stab Scallop in the nose, dealing two points of damage. Scallop reacts and swims back away from you. It's at that moment that Ernie and Driftwood, it's been a little bit too long. It's been a few minutes and Zaba hasn't come up, so. I mean, I'm going to go back in the water, but I don't know what Driftwood's going to do. So With your sword? I, oh. Sure. So uh, yeah, Driftwood goes back in the water. I We see this. It's pretty clear this is happening, right? Yeah. I am fully prepared to do this. Uh, I'm going to cast no on. Um, okay, roll me that d20. <laughs> come on. <laughs> For Mitra. Right now, versus I was going to turn into a seal. Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. Yeah, you cast no, and Scallop, you see the golden, you see like some golden wiry magic kind of peel off of the shark as the shark is forced back into being Scallop. Pulls out like like a harpoon. Okay, I also have my harpoon. Um, I and, mean, yeah. is it possible to do a sneak attack? At this at this point, um, yeah. I mean, there's your the party is engaging with scallops. So. Cool. So once per round, when a nearby foe attacks a creature other than you, oh wait, but they have to attack. Well, yeah, he he attacked. Uh, oh, he attacked oh. Zaba, but that's pretty much over. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, he throws the harpoon. <laughs> okay, I throw the harpoon back. I throw a harpoon back. Okay. Cool. Who's, who's being thrown a harpoon at? Is it me? I'm swimming. I'm trying to get away. I think he's going to throw it at Driftwood. And that is a success. Driftwood, you get struck by the harpoon for two points of damage. Okay, well, now oh. now, now he attacked someone else, so I'm going to yes. do sneak attack. Go ahead. Go do sneak attack. Um, so that is, yeah. I don't have any option because I'm not close enough to incapacitate. And also, that's only commoners and minions. Um, but I can make a basic attack. Cool, go ahead, do it. And then you can make a second base attack too on nice. top of that Okay. when it's your turn. So do I just roll? Yeah, roll a d20. Okay. Got a 14. Cool, that is a success. You hit Scallop for two. Scallop looks pretty unscathed. Um, <laughs> yeah, for a boss. Yeah. <laughs> and swimming. he continues to swim up towards you all, drawing a curved dagger. Okay, well, I'm taking my fucking sword out too, but I think we should just go. I think we should need to just swim away. <laughs> it, or does it seem like he, he's swimming too fast? He's pursuing you all. Um, you can make, you all can make another roll to escape. Uh, if I turn into a seal, will I have, will it be easier? <laughs> for you to swim away or fight? To swim away. You'll be smaller. You'll be slipperier. Because right now I'm weighed down by all my shit. Yes, but I'm going to argue that it would take time for you to transform, so it would balance out either way. Uh, okay. In I'm, this I'm situation. Just okay, so we, we're going to roll to see. Yeah, if you all are running again, roll, roll, roll d20. Sorry. Oh, it's a five. God damn it. Shouldn't have taken my sword into the water. I got a six. Fourteen. <laughs> okay, Driftwood, you're able to back up, but you see that like Ernie started swimming forward and started swimming backward. And that yeah. hesitation was enough for Scallop to swim up and stab you for three. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Zaba, your tough choice. Basically, Scallop has caught up to you and Ernie. Your tough choice is you can either take an, another attack from Scallop, or if you get out of the way, Ernie will take another attack. I mean, just hit me. I don't care. Um... But you will have been able to have succeeded to swim up to Driftwood. 
if I let if you let Ernie get hit, you will well either way you'll be able to, but you'll because yeah, but, but that's oh, your, okay. Yeah, it's, it's either take two points of damage or let or, or or dodge out of the way, and then Ernie takes two points of damage. Um, I will take the two. I'll, I'll take the two points of damage. God cool. dang it! You get sliced on uh your leg as you begin to swim away from Scallop. But I'm with Driftwood now. Yep, you're now up where with Driftwood at the at the surface of the water. So for Driftwood, Driftwood went down uh with Ernie and then went back up, and now Driftwood's uh-huh. with with Zaba. Zaba, <laughs> Ernie's not waiting up. for me. Yeah, you. They are closer to the surface. Okay. Okay. So yeah, now it is Scallop's okay. turn again to fight. God damn it. And this time he whiffs it, so Ernie, you can get a free attack. Okay. I mean, if I choose not to attack and I just leave. Yeah, that could be his consequence for failure, so. Should I still roll, though? Yeah, because that'll determine how fast you get away. Uh, I got three. (laughs) Okay. The swimming thing, I'm not good at it. It's like like you swim up, but then like Scallop grabs you and like pulls himself up. And then it's like you're both whiffing it in the water. (laughs) I can't do anything in this situation. I just have my spear, so I, but I want to be able to, us to be able to get a speedy get, speedy getaway. So I'm just gonna try to get up onto Signal Sora to come down and get onto Sora. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. You're able to do that. So Driftwood, I want to do a. I don't know if uh, this is enough time to do this, but I want to have that fishing rod, right? Yeah, it's magic, right? Yeah. Can I? <laughs> I want to use it on, uh, on Scallop. I don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, I'm in between okay. just doing it or figuring out what it is and then doing it. Is there enough time to know a little bit of what might happen before I do it? You get a sense that whatever it's made out of is unbreakable. Okay. I just, I'm, I'm just going to cast. You're going to cast it? Yeah, okay. Right into Scout's so, face. You have an item called the Rod of the Sea Dragon. This is a rod that can compact itself down to a pocket-sized fishing rod that you can carry anywhere. You can cast a line up to 100 feet of unbreakable fishing line. You can fish or climb this line and it will not break. Use one AP to activate. So you spend one AP and you cast the line at Scallop. Roll me a d20 to see if you like where you hook him. Okay. Seven. You manage to hook Scallop, but it's a bit messy. If you reel in, you're going to need to spend... You, you, you're going to need to spend an additional two ad- adventure points to reel in Scallop without accidentally tangling Ernie in this. Okay, I'm going to do it. Two more AP. Mark down two more AP, and you begin to reel Scallop in away from Ernie. Ernie, you can now swim to the surface. Okay, I'm swimming. Do I roll again? Oh, okay, perfect. No, you can swim on unobstructed because Scallop is tangled up in this fishing awesome. line. Awesome, sheath my sword. I'm going. You're going, you're going, and you get up to the surface. Drift, what do you do now that Scallop tries to cut the line but can't? So It's 100 feet, right? Yeah, it's a hundred feet. I swim for Sora and then keep him on the on the fishing rod. <laughs> okay, all three of you are now on Sora. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Sora takes off. How fast are you having Sora go as you're dragging Scallop behind you? <laughs> Scallop is like you. The three of you see Scallop being pulled up to the surface, and is like boom, 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 like a skipping stone being dragged behind the three of you. Um, I'm gonna horrible. <laughs> Scallop is trying to untangle himself and he manages to get it around his arm and he's like starting to pull himself towards you all. But the lines max out at 100 feet so you have a bit of time before he manages to pull himself to you. Get him I mean, off, get him off. At once, I mean, once it gets closer, we can just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> we can just kind of... Uh, Where are you going? Where are the three of you punch, going? Punch to scale up a little bit. We haven't, I think I said just like go, so it, it honestly could have been anywhere, but I guess we could direct Sora to go someplace. So, I mean, you, you can go to the islands, you can go to the volcano, you can go to the village. Just Sora go. can also fly up in the sky if you want. <laughs> Sora doesn't have to be so low to the ground. This feels very cruel. <laughs> we just want him off. We're going to see him later anyway. What if we get really, really high? Or no, I guess it doesn't you work. You just said that is cruel. <laughs> and then you started... No, no. Um, He's getting closer. Do you what mean if we, what if we say we're gonna we're gonna if you don't if you don't get off we're gonna drop we're gonna get go really really high and drop you? Can um, he even hear us? Can we? I wanna. I, we need a threat. I wanna. We could just go up and do that. Okay. Well, how about I tell Sora as um, go higher, and then okay. lean lean over and say we don't want this to end in in any more bloodshed. 
stop climbing <laughs> or we will go higher and we will drop you. Driftwood, roll me a d20. Oh, boy. Why is Driftwood? Oh, no. <laughs> because Driftwood's Three. holding the... No. Who all is looking over down at uh, Scallop besides Driftwood? I mean, I ha- I had to lean over to shout. Okay. Is Ernie looking down at the water or no? No. How high do you think you all went up? Like 60 feet? 100 feet? 200 feet? 60 feet 60 sounds feet? about right. I mean, cool. that's that's six floors. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty high. So Scallop says nothing. His eyes are still glowing. He's almost possessed. Oh my um, gosh. Don't like and that. And... You see him drop his weapons and he grabs a line with both hands and like pulls himself up and then kind of lets himself fall and yank and driftwood. You <gasps> go flying oh, over the edge, no! tripping the rod. We gotta can go I... after. We gotta go after. Zora, I mean, Zora can, can go down, right? And yeah, yeah, yeah. But whoever is navigating, who's, who's gonna navigate Sora? You gotta I, roll me a d20 to catch okay. Driftwood. I, I mean, I, I, as Driftwood, I, you're free falling with the fishing oh rod. I'm the one who I'm the one who is who was directing Sora to go higher, so it's gotta be me. Yeah, you gotta hurry mm-hmm. up. <laughs> it's an eight. All right, tough choice. Too many um, tough choices in this episode. Yeah. All right, here's your tough choice. You navigate um, Sora down, and you're able to get in a position to scoop up Driftwood. But here's your tough choice. You're either going to have the choose between the fishing rod or scallop. Because if you hang on to the fishing rod, scallop has bundled enough of the cable that like scallop could feasibly also land on the cloud as well if you catch driftwood. Could so right. just drop scallop though? So it's either the... Either you catch driftwood and scallop or you catch driftwood and force driftwood to let go of the fishing rod. The fishing rod. Okay, I see what you mean. I mean, there's what Maya would do and there's what Zaba would do. I, th- I think it would, it would, God, mm. <laughs> I think in the moment it would be drop, drop the fishing rod. You catch driftwood and like wrench it out of driftwood's hand and scallop falls with the fishing rod into the ocean. How much is fall damage in quest? <laughs> so could we have a pretty good view of the, the fight that's going on? The larger fight. What's happening in the ocean yeah. right now? <laughs> yeah. It's still going, yeah. Wow, that's like you can just when you're you're looking down and you just see the magnitude of this like large, like it's like <laughs> if you played Spore. <laughs> Love Spore. <laughs> that feeling of like depth, um, and like that feeling of like size, and then there's just like that small like splash of of scallop amongst this larger scene in the water as we're looking down. So Driftwood takes out their comb and is like shaking, their arm is shaking and starts combing their hair. Uh, uh, thanks. Cast Mend on on Zaba on their leg. Sure. sure hope that he doesn't remember that. In response to what Ernie said, I'm not sure Scallop was entirely there. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't hear as much posturing. There was a little bit of posturing, but then it kind of <laughs> petered out. <sighs> uh, well, uh, we will definitely see Scallop again. If you say so. Oh, are you looking down, Zaba? Yeah. What? No. You see the fishing line come up, and then it goes back down into the ocean. Let's go a l- little bit higher. Okay. Yeah, you move out of the hundred foot range of the fishing rod. Terrifying. Wait, so wait, uh Scallop casted from the yeah. ocean. Yeah, he, he tried to cast it. Yeah. <laughs> um and as you all three of you look down, you see Scallop swim. Well, no I'm like, swimming now. Yeah, like like freestyling at a little bit of an unnatural speed through the water, going back towards the uh the crystal. Was that even Scallop? That's the question. Dyson Pizza is Meyer Worrell as Zaba, Justin Rickefort as Driftwood, Kyla Worrell as Ernie, and myself, Derek Ayello, as The Guide. Cover art is by Gene Young. Theme song is by Itamar Ben Zimra, with additional sound effects by Brian Kim. Our next episode will be on Monday, April 18th. This recording session was part of a three-episode recording block we did, so get ready for some epicness. 
You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Dyson Pizza for updates on the show. And you can check out our newly up and semi-running Tumblr at DysonPizza.tumblr.com. You can listen to the audio or video version of this on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. And if you haven't done already, please drop us a review or ranking or rating wherever you listen to this. It really helps to be new people find the show. Thank you all for listening and we will catch you next time.